Hello guys. So today we're going to do a little bit of yin yoga here in Brooklyn. And you're basically going to just be able to see me do some poses and you're welcome to, you know, come along and try it as well. And just so you know what yin yoga is, I mean all yoga is just yoga, right? But yin yoga um, is very non-invasive and we hold the pose for a longer period of time. And um, a lot of times there's actually like blocks and mats, but because we're in the park, we're just going to do a couple of poses that would work with being outside. And just because we're outside, it's very relaxing, so it's going to help open up the body a little bit more. But you're welcome to use any type of mats or blocks or even um, blankets, right? Anything to make you comfortable. This is not like flow or vinyasa where we're just moving, moving, moving. This is really to just help with flexibility, help decrease anxiety, um, you know, just to have a better overall feeling of the day and just regain that, you know, self-control or, you know, mental clarity that we need, okay? So get ready to start. I'm going to put the phone down. I'm not going to do too much talking. But um, just follow along, okay? I, if you have questions, I'm probably not going to see them, but you're welcome to email me at Rochelle, R-O-C-H-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, at Creative, C-R-E-A-T-I-V-E, -E, Minds, M-I-N-D-Z, Yoga, Y-O-G-A, dot com. And that's only because I'm taking the phone and I'm putting it away and I don't have the ability to see if you're looking in or you're, you're coming in and watching this broadcast. Okay, get ready to do some yoga. So we're going to start by taking our feet and just bringing them towards our sits bone. We're going to sit up nice and tall. Slowly, we're going to come back. Maybe the toes lift off the ground, that's fine, but try to keep them down on the ground as you roll the spine all the way down to the ground. Lay your head down, okay? Keep the feet right where they are. Inhale, nice big belly breath in. Maybe take your hands and press them on your stomach. And as you inhale, the belly's gonna expand. And on the exhale, the fingertips interlace. So your belly is expanding as you inhale. And on the exhale, the fingers are interlacing. And just hold this for about three minutes. Now, I'm not going to do the whole three minutes, but you're welcome to do the whole three minutes. Bring your hands by the sides. When you're ready, if you want to continue to hold that breathing exercise, you can, holding the pose, or you can move on to bridge pose. We're going to take our hips, we're going to tilt them up and just lift up our pelvis. Inhaling and exhaling as we breathe. If you like, you can take it up a little bit higher, even interlacing the fingers underneath the body. Hold the pose. Slowly lower the body down. We're going to tilt our back in. And we're going to take our feet, we're going to press them together. Right? You can bring the feet in towards the body. 
And what you're going to do is you're going to lay them down on the mat. And you can just hold this pose. No forcing. You can use blocks, mats, pillows, anything you like to help ease it along. Just lay and relax. the stretch right on the inner thigh muscles so just be mindful of that don't overstretch your body And some of these poses you can hold up to 15 minutes or even longer. I'm going to move on to the next pose, but you're welcome to hold it. Play this video. Bring the legs together. Take your right foot, lift it up, and bring your hands behind. Bring the knee in towards the chest, and then lay your leg across your left thigh. You can stay just like this, or you can interlace your fingers and come into a laying half pigeon. Bring your hands all the way around, depending how flexible you are. And just hold the pose. Keep breathing. in the left leg. Anything you do to the right side, you want to do to the left. Again, you can stay right here. And this is fine. Or you can interlace those fingers. Bring it around the thigh or around the shin. Sitting 
up nice and straight. You can take your hands, drop them down. You can bend the knees, reach for the toes, or actually touch the toes. It's your choice. Little by little, the body is going to relax. The muscles are going to relax. So you can walk the legs out a little bit and then just drop the head, tilting the chin in towards the chest. Body to rise, lifting the arms up. Hands come down by the sides. I'm gonna relax and breathe. I'm gonna twist my body over so you can see. Extend the legs out, right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by just stretching, breathing, inhaling, and exhaling. Take your fingertips. So. Take your left fingertips, you're gonna wrap them around your toe, drop your elbow down, allow the right hand to lift, right? And then your hand is gonna come down around your belly. And you're just gonna stay like this, squaring the belly towards your toes. Come back to center. Take your right fingertips, wrap them around your right toe. Your left hand extends up into the air. And take your hand, place it on your belly to revolve the stomach so that it's square with the toes. And we can always start out by just kind of reaching, dropping that elbow down by our knee. And then when you're relaxed enough, just drop your hand. No forcing, no tension. Remember, this is yin yoga. We're not trying to overstretch the body, we're just trying to fall into the pose. Very little resistance.
back to center. And now if you have a pillow, you can definitely put a pillow right here to kind of like place the body down, right? But you can stay just like this without a pillow if you're out in the park like I am. You never know. And just drop your chin down into your chest. See if you can come down to your elbows. If not, don't worry. I don't come down to my elbows. Not right away. But you might. And breathe. Nice and straight, inhaling from the belly up through the chest. Exhaling as you come down. Drop the left ear to the left shoulder. Allow the left hand to rise. And gently just lay the fingertips on the right side of the head. So left ear to left shoulder, fingertips, right side of the head, right where the temple is, and it just lays there. Gentle. Fingertips lift, drop the left hand down by the left side, tuck the chin to center body. Pause there for a moment. Right ear to the right shoulder, right fingertips rise, and then they rest on the left side of the head, right here where that temple is. So right ear to right shoulder, resting the right fingertips on the left side of the head. And just breathe, make sure your belly breaths are very deep. And on the exhales, allow the navel to suck down towards the spine, releasing all the stale air out of your lungs. hand rises, rest it back down on the right side. Remember, you can stay in each pose as long as you like. Just replay this broadcast when it's over. But for now, we're going to come back, tucking our chin into our chest, taking our fingers, 
I'm just placing them on the head. Continue to sit up nice and straight in your spine, lifting from the foundation, which is your sits bone, all the way up, each vertebrae stacked one on top of the next. And then just your neck body, your neck vertebrae tilts down so that your chin tucks down into your chest. And breathe. Feel like you can drop your hands by your side and just stay here in this pose. Releasing your shoulders away from your ears. They fall just a little bit closer towards the ground. Slowly bring the gaze back up to eyesight and then take it all the way up towards the ceiling. Take your hands, or towards the sun. Take your hands, and breathe in as your heart center reaches for the sky. Back to center. <laughs> take your legs, and this will be our last pose for the day. We're gonna take our legs, we're gonna bring them together and we're gonna place them up on this tree. If you have a wall at home, use your wall. Um, even if you have a desk, you can join a makeshift. In Brooklyn, we can make the best with whatever we have. So whatever you have, you can make it work. Trust me, we do it all the time. So we're happy to share that innovative spirit with you when it comes to yoga. And we're just going to scooch our butt up, coming closer to the tree. The legs will just rest and we can just stay there.
bring the knees into the chest. Roll over towards your left or right side. Come back up to center. And now you can either end your practice with your legs still up on the wall, or you can come into lotus and prepare for meditation. You stay in meditation as long as you like. Again, take care and namaste.